welcome back to the channel glad to have you here in today's video i'm going to show you my process for filtering out kdp interiors as well as kdp keywords here on creative fabrica now if you're not familiar with creative fabrica yet i have covered it so many times on the channel i run a online store on creative fabrica selling kdp keywords as well as kdp interiors and ebooks that i've made myself um so there's two ways to make money on creative fabrica there's the way of uh, creating your online store and selling your own graphics fonts and interiors and there is also a much more familiar way which is to create an account and access uh, content such as kdp interiors keywords graphics fonts so many different things including online video based classes and uh, subscribe so uh, that way you can get access to unlimited downloads of all the content available on, on creative fabrica and if you are interested in subscribing then you can access a full month's trial uh, for one dollar for 30 days to trial out creative fabrica the all access subscription plan for one dollar for the first 30 days you can see the link in the description box below to help you get started now this is the process that i do when i am looking for kdp interiors it is either i go ahead and select the uh, niche that i find for example in the last video i started talking about the three kdp low competition high demand niches and one of these niches uh, or keywords was abundance mindset journal so uh, there's one way which is i simply go ahead once i found a profitable keyword using the self-publishing titans a chrome extension the free one i just go ahead to create a fabrica copy and paste this one and see what kind of interiors are available so this way i'm going into the website i know exactly what i'm doing it's very uh, very focused it's very straightforward i have the niche in mind i have the keyword in mind and i'm just simply looking for interiors then again using that subscription that i do have i have um, the access to unlimited downloads then again if you do not have a subscription what you will see here for example as we click you will just see um, rather than download you will see the individual price listed which will um, uh, once you click it it will take you to a payments uh, page where you input your payment details you can even pay through paypal as well and then you access an instant download of the interior and you have full commercial rights with that as well so you can easily just take it change it around make sure you change it around and then resell it on platforms such as etsy amazon kdp gumroad payheap um, dg24 store so many other platforms they are able to change but the key here is to change it around and i'm going to show you exactly how to do so shortly so for example you've got subscription you like this i'm going to go ahead and click on the download within a few seconds i've got this downloaded straight away here as a zip file i'm going to go ahead and click on it and once i do click on it i have the file exactly here as described the indesign file the pdf the powerpoint file and the png as well as the gpg files of each single individual pages now the types of files that you have available here will depend based on the product and based on what the designer is actually offering so be sure to read that so what do i do is i decided to do embark on this niche i'm going to go ahead and click on the pdf version and this is what it looks like i don't want to publish that straight away from the um, credit fabrica download instantly to amazon kdp because that will be first of all not unique it'll be cheating it'll be flagged as a duplicate content and it will risk my account of getting banned or suspended so then again complete logbook i want to first of all look at every single page here and see okay what can i change i'm gonna upload this exact pdf to canva which will allow me to add elements over there and it will allow me to change it around change the fonts change the writing add uh, different pages takeaway pages and then I'll, i will download it as a pdf print file but firstly i want to have a look at the exact document that i've downloaded right now and see what can 
I take out? What can I change? First of all, just by looking at the first couple of pages here, it's really clear to me that if I want to make this unique, I'm going to have to change the font. I may have to add in a border as well. I may want to add in some elements as well. And also what I do with all my books, especially books that are based on anything to do with self-improvement, self-love, self-help, um, abundance and manifestation, I like to use and add in extra value. Really, really important and it helps your book to stand out. So I'm going to upload this to Canva as a PDF print, uh, print and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do so. Go in there to Canva and I have a pro account. So um, uh, you don't need a pro account to do this so far as far as I no, but please do correct me if you find other ways. So I have this exact um, file right here and I'm going to just simply take it out and place it in Canva, upload it and it's currently uploading. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit it. Now, hopefully we can edit the main elements here. And I like to add value by adding specific pages such as a how to page anything related to the niche itself for example here we're dealing with abundance mindset so it's anything to do with law of attraction manifestation visualization meditating so i want to include some educational material for the readers and the customers such as uh, other than how to use and this book belongs to page i would also like to include affirmations for the customers to help them in achieving uh, the abundance mindset that they uh, train themselves to achieve. I also would like to add in a habit tracker to leave space for the customers to uh, select and input specific habits that they would like to monitor and track in order to achieve an abundance mindset not only that some quotes also that are for commercial use and that are not copyrighted would be best to be included in such a book also another thing that you can add is um, other than quotes other than affirmations you might also add in uh, a section about for example um you know uh, special crystals or tools or uh, incense anything that can help around that niche now you don't need to get really specific the reason why i'm getting really specific is because i have personal experience dealing with such a niche and practicing it also on like on a personal level in my daily life in my lifestyle so that's why um i can I know more about this niche of abundance and, and visualization meditation so forth so i'm able to kind of really dive in and if you really want to stand out then you know you're creating a journal about self-help you really want to stand out create a couple of books that are related to this niche um, i highly advise you to do some re research some you know reading for you know one or two hours will really minimum will really help you to understand the niche that you are embarking on and then you'll be able to know what kind of uh, books that you are creating and how to add value so i've uploaded the exact pdf to canva right now as you can see just scrolling by i'm able to access the head the title the journal i'm able to take away the image replace it by another image i'm able to change the uh, font as well just simply it's as if i've created that journal and um, now i'm just going in and editing it so this is really really important it's really unique as well i personally don't like this border i actually hate it um so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete it if you want you can have it um in again and then just change it around change it around change the uh, size as well i wouldn't really go into the change any of the colors or insert any elements that are color based because keep in mind in order to reduce the cost we want to upload the book and sell it on amazon kdp as a black and white interior so only the cover will be color based but the interior will be black and white so any image that is color based that you will add will not be printed as color and the customer will feel a uh, very uh, kind of bet betrayed in a way because they will go ahead with the book look inside the feature see everything you know colorful inside and when they get the book it's just simply black and white so 
this is more blank pages so then again you can add in a how to use page you can add in some you know introduction to achieving a abundance mindset affirmations for abundance mindset a self-care log you can also go in there and write a habit tracker for example and see what kind of things you want to add so for example here this is a blank page right here if i want to add in a habit tracker just go in there add in a habit tracker now you do want to change this around because although this is available right here to you in different beautiful designs this has been possibly uploaded by other creators as well so then again treat it this um these templates available from canva the exact way you would treat a kdp interior from creative fabrica so just simply change it around habit tracker there we go i'm going to change in the fonts for example, I'm going to add in an element, either that is a border or let's say here, writing habits, see what comes up, self-care. You can also change in a, uh, just simple things, for example, it doesn't have to be this one, but just simple things. You can also, if you do have a, um, if you do have a element that is color-based and you do want to make it black and white, just go to the edit option right here and go in here and add it uh, create the grayscale feature so it's it's been a while i haven't done that before i just need to kind of go ahead and um and see where it is but there is a grayscale feature um in uh, the edit image button which will allow you to just simply make it um gray right now so it'll just be gray um, and then upload that as well so there's lots of different ways for example here once you come you're not able to really change a lot um, apart from the heading so I wouldn't be too like kind of um, frustrated about that you can go ahead and click on self-care log see what comes up and then just change things around and, and input things as well you might also want to add in a, a kind of a prompt anything to do with that any sort of worksheet that you find to be interesting maybe adding a doodling page in between just to give it a little bit of a of a of a break so there's a lot of great ideas right here we've got a vision board so one of the things that i love about um this niche is that there is a lot of beautiful templates on canva for vision boards so you can easily replace the uh this page right here you don't like the way this vision board is done replace it by another one such as let's say with this one awesome and then you could change the fonts change the sizing change the wording as well and you're good to go so then again this is the way that i uh, have a look and edit in the the templates that i get from creative fabrica and from etsy upload them to canva and edit them and, and just simply go ahead with download and then download it as a pdf print and it'll, straight away it'll it'll download it and then i'm able to once i have the formatting correct i can able to publish it to amazon kdp as an interior so then again what i wanted to show you just before we end the video is another way that you can use creative fabrica to find specific kdp niches and if this is more of a researching phase so the first part of the video was about how you can go in creative fabrica with a keyword profitable keyword in mind straight away look at the interiors download them upload them to canva change them around and re-upload to amazon kdp another way is just to simply go to graphics go to creative fabrica go to graphics head on to kdp interiors and i know you'll have an endless page of interiors open right here but don't make the mistake of going into the popular ones see here sort by popularity don't make the mistake of going to the popular ones and downloading them then attempting to change and re-upload because imagine the amount of people that have downloaded that same interior on the popular section for example with this one here you've got 30 1693 people have added it to the favorites not even downloaded it, added it to the favorites we don't even know how many self-publishers have downloaded it yet so imagine the saturation imagine the uh, lack of uniqueness 
in the ones that are rated as popular so go ahead and click sort by latest so this will sort the kdp interiors by the most recently uploaded and as you can see here we have a group of lovely interiors that are fresh that uh, are unique in most cases so i'm going to go ahead and this is a great way to uh, access and to investigate and to research niches that you probably didn't know about and in most cases the designers and the uh, sellers usually upload uh, interiors in the in this section here so by latest according to in most cases according to the uh, newest niches so in this case for example here i don't know what this niche is about suburb journal i haven't really dealt with that before Also, there is books in uh, other languages, French, Spanish as well. If you want, there is a whole abundance mindset journal with 17 different templates as well. There is other uh, sections such as the, uh, the diamond painting logbook for some have heard about that. So this is, this is what I do. I select a, uh, an interior of a uh, recently uploaded interior that I'm not quite familiar with. And I just just simply dedicate half an hour or so, um, a couple of times a week, just go in there, um, make sure that the self-publishing Titans Chrome extension is opened in Canva. And I just click on Diamond Painting Logbook and I see this niche. I see, I have a look around. I see, is it new, a new niche? Is it, uh, what are the profitability of these niches? For example, the keyword niche score, the BSRs, the, uh, the results. Is it worthy of, uh, of pursuing? So I'm just going to wait for the details right here to upload and st to come up the analytics section. And as I am waiting, I'm going to go ahead to the second interior that I've opened, which is this one. So I'm not sure if we'll have results coming in that we want. But remember, then again, this is a great way to research the keywords. And also you'll be able to get keywords that you're not familiar with coming up and I found a lot of profitable keywords that I've discussed with you on this channel using that exact same technique as I am doing right now. So I'm going to click on this, wait for it to upload or wait for it to uh, open up the analytics. It does take a while right now and as, as you've noticed I'm, I'm a big fan of opening a couple of uh, tabs at the same time. It's one of my toxic habits. So I'm just waiting for this to open up. And as we are waiting, we're going to scroll down and have a look at 